Can you imagine a prayer could become an idol? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, my friends. Prayer could become an idol. And in so many churches, the way we are actually being taught about prayer, as if, in fact, the whole essence of our Christian faith is all about prayer itself. And to a large extent, some people actually go to church, they are not even, even God has come to the second position. The emphasis now is prayer, prayer, prayer. As if it is prayer that does miracles. In fact, you will hear things like prayer is the master key, prayer is the one thing that does miracles. But that is also one of the practices of paganism. That is also another manifestation of, you know, what Gentiles do. Gentiles are relate to prayer as if prayer is the source of answer, as if prayer is the is the is the uh, is the miracle worker, as if prayer is the uh, is the is the thing that gives us the answer. So people tell you and teach you that prayer, there's nothing as important as prayer. So, you know, in doing that, we don't even realize when we have turned prayer to the source itself, when prayer has become the centrality of our Christian life. In fact, many people would even tell you that is the right thing to do, that prayer is the central thing of your life. Now, don't get me wrong. When I'm talking like this, it doesn't mean I don't believe in prayers. <laughs> when I'm talking this way, it doesn't mean that I don't pray or I think that you should not pray. I'm just trying to put things in perspective and in the right perspective. Prayer is only a tool. Prayer is not the centrality of the Christian life. Prayer shouldn't be the focus. Prayer shouldn't be the thing because it's, it has gotten to an extent that we put our faith now in prayers. Have you prayed? Have you prayed? You know, it is all about prayer. Prayer has now become the, the thing we hope on. Prayer is now become, you know, uh, it's, it's become an idol, really. It's become an idol. Have you prayed? Okay, I'll pray about it. As if it is prayer. You know, this is what, this is what Gentiles do. This is in, 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 uh, in, 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 in paganism, you know, it is not, it is about the sacrifice. It is about the, the offering that you do. It is about your efforts. When, you know, and it's like that too. Oh, I've not prayed. Though. So we are thinking that it is our action. It is our deeds. It is our amount of prayer. Or it is, you know, how much we pray. How, how we do this. We, we, you know, I don't know if you can get this. Oh, God help me. It, we are not paying emphasis on God as much as we pay on prayer sometimes. We, are, we remember the name of God, we talk about God, but we are using Him to be the one as a stamp you put on top of the prayer. As if it is the prayer that is the, is the prayer that is the miracle worker, it's the prayer that is working the miracle, it's the prayer that is the master key, it's the prayer that is the... So, where is God then? Oh, God in the name of God. And, or, or, or we ask God. We're just using God to fulfill our prayers. We make the prayer to look as if you know, it is the amount of prayer you do. I've prayed strong. I've prayed constantly. I've prayed, you know, prayed, prayed. I've done this. You know, prayer. I've, it's as if it is the prayer that is the master key. As I mean, that is the miracle worker. As if it is the prayer that is the answer. As if the prayer is what is actually giving us the result. Ah, the thing I'm talking about is such a borderline that I don't want you to misunderstand me. I don't want you to think that I am discouraging prayer or I am uh, bashing prayer. But that's not what I'm after. That's not what I'm trying to say. Let me tell you, the, maybe I should try this. Let me tell you the way it's supposed to be. Prayer shouldn't be something that we put on the pedestal, on the pedestal on its own as something that is this huge thing. That is what the Gentiles do, just like the Muslims. Have you prayed? Have, have you, how many times have you prayed today? Five times today. Have you prayed? So it is as if that prayer for Muslims and other religions also, pray five times a day. You must pray. It, the, the emphasis is on your action. As if it is your action that makes a difference. As if it is that prayer, the, your works, that really, you know, makes you to receive the answer. As if it is not that's your work that, should, that really make you to 
qualify or that makes you to be more worthy of answer do you pray more why is it that i pray more and i am not receiving too much why is it that this one you know this one you are, oh ah, it's because you have not prayed or it's because you have prayed little or it's because you are you know we are looking at it as if it is prayer that is the key or the centrality of the Christian life as if it is prayer that will move the hand of God, as if it is prayer that changes, that makes God to heart, as if it is prayer that, you know, gets God cornered in a corner, you put, you know, you the prayer that will get God and put him in a box and put him in the corner and say, okay, I've been praying now, so now I got him, I got God, now he must give me an answer. Yeah, I got him in the neck now, okay. God, I've prayed, you see, I've fasted, now, you don't have any option. I've quoted your word. I've quoted your word here. I've reminded you of your word. I've said that. You have to do it. Okay, now, we got it. We cornered you from here, from here. There's nowhere, any, no more, any place for you to go. Now, I must get my answer. I don't know if you are trying to get one, if you are getting what I'm trying to say. Now, how did God, how did Jesus uh, pray? I think his own example of prayer is much more better. Because sometimes we become, we have, begin to believe more in prayers than we believe in God. We begin to have more relationship with prayer. We begin to worship prayer more than we worship God. We begin to adore prayer. Prayer becomes an idol only on its own. We begin to elevate prayer, revert prayer, honor prayer that we honor the God, the God Almighty himself. So, but how did Jesus, how did Jesus pray? What was his own attitude of prayer? His Father, I know you always answer me. <laughs> I know you always answer me. And now I ask that you do this. Trust, faith, Father, relationship. Jesus' first attitude to prayer is Father, Woo. what a breast, what a peace, Father, in that word alone, we see the priority, we see the priority, we see the priority, prayer is first of all, relationship, communicating with the loving Father. Relationship, a trusting relationship with the loving Father. And it is first of all a relationship before a request. It is first of all a reverence to my loving Father. Even that love I have for God, even loving Him like that, is also a prayer. Even that trust I have in Him is also a prayer. Even that ongoing relationship, even if I'm not asking anything, ongoing relationship of intimacy is also a prayer. And sometimes those ones are even stronger than request or asking something or the other. Prayer is what goes on between me and my loving master. Prayer could involve asking. Prayer could involve, you know, asking for needs. But it should never be the driving force. The driving force should be loving relationship with the master. Yesterday, after I spoke about prayer a little bit, somebody said, I will never ask again for, he said, he was saying, he will never ask anything from God again in prayer. No, 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 you should. But it shouldn't be what you are seeking. The Bible says, the gent after these things, the Gentiles seek. You should be seeking God not for things. You should be seeking Him for love. You should be seeking Him for relationship. You should be seeking Him for trust. Seeking Him for invaluable things. And when you ask for, you know, uh, blessings or for things or for protection, those are just like pass, pass by things. Those are just some second, secondary things. But you don't seek him. The only thing you are allowed to seek in this kingdom is the kingdom. Seek you first the kingdom. Seek you first the king. Seek you first the, the nature of the king, the likeness of the king, the image of the king. Seek you first to love him. Seek you first relationship with him. Now, 
Prayer is only a tool of building relationship with the Master, with my Lord that I love. Prayer is only a key, a tool by which I build relationship. Someone is asking, someone is saying here, uh, John, uh, she knows to so say, men ought to pray and not to faint. Yes, but that's what I'm trying to say. Prayer is only a tool. A tool. It's not prayer that is the end in itself. You see, if you read that scripture, prayer and men ought to pray and not to cease. As if prayer as a function itself it stands alone. As if prayer is a function, men ought to pray. So pray and not to cease. So you pray, 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 pray. As if prayer is an end in itself. That's exactly what I'm trying to teach you. That no, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Prayer is not an end in its on its own. Prayer is not, oh, men ought to pray. Pray without ceasing. So as if prayer is the whole essence of your exercise. But that is not the whole essence of the exercise. It is not even the whole essence of prayer itself. Prayer is only a tool. Prayer is only a tool, but not the source. Prayer is only a tool, but not the source. Prayer is only a tool of building a trustworthy, right-relying relationship with God. Prayer is only the tool. Prayer is only the tool, not the master key. The master key is God. Hello everybody, DSA here. I would like us to spread this word together. Let the gospel of the kingdom conquer the world. We only need you to help us take five simple steps. What are these steps? One, go ahead and like the video, please, if you have not yet done that. Number two, we need you to subscribe to this channel. Have you yet subscribed? You not yet done it? Go do it now. Number three, you need to press and click on that bell. You see the bell there? That will give you notification of every video that we do. Then the next thing you need to do, write your comments. Let's know what you think, good or bad. And then of course, you have other platforms like Instagram, like Facebook, share this video on your other platforms. All right, let's win the world for Christ. Peace.